for sake of time, I'm not going to have transformations in this video. Maybe I'll do a future video, but I want to make this video as to the point as possible. Thank you for understanding. T-Man 978 Chill Review Hello everyone, T-Man 978 Fans Toys Hydra Yay. AKA Third Party Masterpiece Six Shot Here's the stuff on the back of the box Pause that if you want to read it It's odd that they have this image And this image Right here and there But they didn't take the time to put the other Four mo Other Three modes on the box somewhere they just have two of his alt modes repeated he comes with one of the thickest books they ever produced that i've ever touched and of course this collector's card that has the same bio on the back there are his stats here's this he has a different chest from right here because he has an optional chest he has these two guns right here nicely sculpted all the way painted all over hole in the barrel both barrels because there's a hole up there no uh, i guess that would be the scope i don't know maybe it's a barrel you decide he has this sword right here fully painted once again with handles on the side but guess what if you start splitting right here and it split right there you can get it apart instead of putting a nasty peg right here up here they put magnets in there so that is very cool. Here is Hydra himself. I guess they call him Hydra because he has multiple heads, so to speak, even though he only has two alternate modes with a head. This one and his wolf alternate mode. But it is nicely painted and it has die cast. It feels heavy and chunky. It feels like a premium toy, just like Fans Toys does. But unfortunately, just like Fans Toys does, it has a few <laughs> issues here or there, or design things that just make things kind of annoying. Let's get them out of the way first, because the rest of them is, it's pretty good. Like, you see what he looks like, and he has all the articulation you would probably want. But, things I want to complain about, these wings right here. You see what he looks like. Yay, that's what he looks like with the wing. It's super big, maybe too big. When you open this... To put them away there is no clearance oh does this come out no nah, i wouldn't i wouldn't bother that that might break it there's no clearance or there's a little bit of clearance to get around that but if you don't want them yay you don't have to have them and i think i prefer him without those these things always tend to have weird tolerances having tight elbow joints would be good but this is what happens when you bend the elbow, this wheel doesn't bend right there. It's attached to a separate elbow joint in there. You have to hold this in place, then bend the elbow up if you want the wheel to move with it. And also, you can go up a little bit more than 90 degrees, but you're forced to keep the wheel there. So keep that in mind. I don't like that. All that's frustrating. That elbow is super tight. On my copy of this figure, this is super, super, it gets tight up, up to here, but anything lower than this is kind of loose and it comes out as you just saw. This side is perfectly tight. So why both of them couldn't be perfectly tight? Even this is too tight because it stays up while this moves together. And because of his body is so heavy, his knees aren't going to be tight enough to support the upper weight of his body but that's not really a problem because who's going to hold him by his lower legs final two things are probably nitpicks like because he does have ankle pivot but it's not a lot so yeah i i don't like that i wish he had more like quietus has a whole panel that folds in so he can have some deep ankle pivot but this doesn't have that and as you can see right here, this would be like a secondary heel support or the main heel support. It should have been maybe on a ratchet joint so that if you want to have him pose a certain way, 
it could support the weight of his body, but they didn't do that. The last nitpick I'll mention is I'm kind of disappointed that he doesn't have the new type of fan to his hands where the wrists go in and out and he can, he can move his hand like this. The last few figures I've gotten have had that and this one doesn't. It's just a regular old swivel. I mean, it can do this, but it's not really meant to do that. That's part of the transformation. Here's this comparison side by side. Same details, just none of this stuff right here on the outside. Megatron Cyclonus and Studio Series Bumblebee comparison. So he's a big boy, but that's also a little boy. Almost forgot about this comparison. Totally different colors right there. I think the Takara version had more close colors to this right here. I never realized how bright green that was. Articulation, head can look up, rotate. No head pivot or anything. So when you do ab crunching poses, I would only suggest bending it this much. He has that detail right there, those little ratchets. Because when I accidentally bent it more forward earlier, I put a little scuff in the paint. Shoulders do this. They rotate on ratchets. This right here, you might've noticed, it lets him have a butterfly joint that way and this way. But if you bring this all the way out and forward, he can even come, he can come more forward that way. And, or you could leave his arms like this if you wanted them like that, but I wouldn't leave it like that. I showed the elbow articulation. This bicep swivel was super crazy loose, just like this, but I put floor polish on it. So, uh, maybe in 24 hours, it probably, probably will be better. Thumb is on a ball joint. This is on a little pin joint right there. All the fingers are individually pinned on at two points, so they can bend like that. He has a waist besides the bicep, besides the ab crunch, I mean. And I'm pushing this, that's that crunching sound. But it can only bend that much when you have them straight up. The legs look like they have ratchets outward. You see that molded there, but they don't. It's just friction. And this leg on mine comes down really quick. But it is ratcheted forward, and he kicks more than 90 degrees. It can even kick back. He has a swivel right here, which is really tight. You can't turn past that point if you bend it that way. I think they did that for transformation. In fact, it uh, apparently it freaking locks. He has that bend right there, which is less than 90 degrees. I showed the ankle. You can swivel right here, do the transformation. And if you elongate the leg, you can cheat more than you can get articulation like that. But good luck getting that to stay like that. It's because it's not meant to be a real joint. Here he is holding the guns. And here's how far he can kick up without putting that hip skirt forward. Something like MP10. Did I say that this head is visible at all times? Gun storage, kinda, if you fold the handle up. And he is capable of holding the big broad sword, as you can see right here, with the thumb around it. Here he is holding the singular swords right there, so. His robot mode does what it needs to do. The ankles and leg articulation does make it a little bit hard for him to get to a pose. He doesn't look up incredibly a lot for somebody who has an ab crunch. I like the neck articulation to be better if a character has ab crunch. So I keep saying that. But overall, good. Besides all the things I nitpicked about or things that were genuine complaints like this. Holy moly. Here is his wolf mold or whatever this beast is. I believe it's a wolf. Getting to this was a nightmare. I, I was going to say I'm probably going to have a separate how to transform the thing video, but there is no way that I can clearly show you how this thing wraps around here. I don't even know how I did it. It took forever. I swear it literally took me like a half hour feels like to get both of these knees reorganized into this position it was unnecessarily complicated but let me just show you this does this 
this bends a little bit or goes back into its original orientation the toe moves up and down that's die cast so that's even more die cast there as long with the robot foot that you can still see there this does this and goes up and down and back and here's the reason why he has those weird joints the wheel goes up in there and you can still bend the elbow because it's two separate elbows and that's why he has two separate elbows wings you can do whatever with la di di da di and the head can go down like that and the jaw opens it cannot rotate or anything like that disappointing and the arms has this articulation which i guess they thought about and they gave us this toe pivot and it can still do this so you can get them into some decentish poses <laughs> if you have imagination and time so it's better than the original g1 toy it's better than the hasbro titans returns toy well i guess you could move this around like that i saw no way to place this back here as a tail or something i guess if you were persistent you could saw no way to do this the guns can still attach let's see you can put the guns onto the wings but they would have to be at a weird angle because they bump into things so there you are that and you can still attach it into there but yeah at an angle so here he is that's what you're working with here he is in a spaceship jet star cruiser type mode right there there is no type of like landing gear or anything and after i said that whole speech about um not doing a transformation I, when i went back to to figure this out i found out the correct way you're supposed to do the legs the instructions made me go through hell for no reason when there is an easy way to do it this doesn't really look like anything it sort of looks like a flying boot or something like that so yeah i i don't like it it's cool that it can happen but yeah it doesn't even look like anything and the instructions i guess they they know that you're smart they just these magically are on the wings they don't tell you to put them on the wings but yeah there we are all right here he is in his like armored car mode it rolls but the wheels are obviously scraping on something i don't know whether it's the front wheels or the back wheels it's heavy and the way it transforms yeah this this is scraping you gotta push this little bar in there so this will be in place and get this little thing where it needs to be and yeah that's scraping because these are free rolling but yeah this was easy to get to from the space jet thingy and just know that in order to get these out of here they were in here like this you are gonna need a tool there's like literally no way to get that out unless you have magic fingers it's tight and unfolding this flap from there was difficult as well so yeah i think i'm gonna do a separate transformation video but yeah this doing this right now is really frustrating and i know this video would be a freaking hour long of me transforming this <laughs> but it's cool it's decent it looks like the old school thing you can still see the wolf head mode there's no hiding that and it's cool that these little panels and pieces come out of nowhere that was the most exciting part of this when i was looking at the instructions i was like where the heck is that they just kind of appear out of nowhere but here you are here is his like anti-aircraft mode and i've been forgetting to mention like the red lights right there i hope y'all been saying that and his various modes the way these tank treads pull out is ingenious they just have no wheels or whatever um one problem i just have with mine is or mine is just this being loose in every mood it's frustrating so still see the wolf head if that bothers you maybe they should have went with a darker color right there 
but it is heavy. It, I don't really like the way the, the arms don't really lock into place in this, this mode. I mean, it, it is what it is right there. You just lay it flat and keep it moving. One thing I can tell you, the instructions, they go from robot to the alternate mode for each and every single alternate mode. That is frustrating. What they don't tell you, though, is if you go in alternate modes by order, by what's in the book, they flow right into each other and you don't have to do as many steps. So if you plan on doing a marathon of transforming this guy, then f go in order how it is in the book. Don't go from robot to that mode because you can just flow right into this from each of the various modes. And I'll probably will never ever transform this thing after I do the transformation video if I decide to do that it has not been fun it's been like a chore right now like some of this stuff just is so aggravating and I like transforming quietus and a lot of people say that's that's crazy but quietus is fun compared to this it might be a lot of steps but a lot of this fights with you the panels move and don't really lock into place these don't lock uh, one of these guns, this side wouldn't fit on that side, so I had to figure that out. Like I said, the arm's not locking, the wing's not locking, this piece is not tolerant well and should have had a little bit more. It has, more, it has pegs so that things can combine together, but maybe it should have had more locking points and more pegs in some of these modes, like getting these wings to lock in the position position this is scary for me because it's fans toys eventually that's gonna wear down because it's just on a pen so yeah those are things to worry about fans toys seem to be the hot toys of transformers hot toys you're not supposed to play with them apparently even though they give them a rack of articulation and you can do whatever you want it seems like you're not supposed to do anything with them that's what fans toys seems like to me final mode the gun mode. Ah, uh, yeah. It just looks like him. With his arms upside down and guns on his feet. So, yeah, you're working with what you're working with. It has a trigger. <laughs> the original one probably pulled it off better. It looks like this from the front. It is huge. I haven't been comparing these alternate modes to anything. Here's a deluxe class figure. Yeah. At the transforming him, I do not feel like transforming anything else to compare with, like, Shockwave or something. I'm pretty sure M.Go will. M.Go loves doing all that. I appreciate him. So, you'll have him to look forward to, because I know he buys every fan story thing. This is this, and here's what I can tell you. Some fan toys figures feel like they're made to be played with, like they are an actual action figure toy. Grinder is one that I can think of, and <laughs> Grinder is one that I can think of. That's the only one to me. I have so much fun turning Grinder back and forth, back and forth. Like I said, Quietus is cool, but he is one of those figures that feels like there's so much die cast and paint on there, you're going to have issues if you keep doing it. This guy... Yeah, I write out the box. He had some issues. So, uh, if other copies are anything like this one, you going to have some issues. Note that the lights are here so you can shine beams on them. People while he's shooting or whatever. I don't know if he actually shrinks down to the actual size of a gun. Or can he just be wielded as a combiner size gun? I don't know what happens in the actual cartoon and whatnot as far as that. But here he is as a giant space gun and it's heavy. These wings aren't bending, they're stiff. So that's cool. This has been my Hydra review. I mean, I guess I could transform them back like stuff like this. These move, I, I mentioned that. Yeah, this stuff is gonna all be a problem after a while. I would, I would have started with this mode first, but like I just said, it's better if you go into these 
Yeah, that will not rotate that way. Go into these modes in the order that's in the book. But that one rotates that way, you see that? Well, anywho. I can, if you're somebody that just opens these things up and puts them on yourself, super recommend. If you want to actually pose him around and make him an action figure, I suggest being cautious because he doesn't really feel like he's designed to be played with so much. I mean, he has the ability to be played with, but it's almost like he's he's not meant to be played with. And y'all know me. I am a person that likes to play with toys, so that aspect disappoints me, but I am happy about having him in my collection, so there you go with that. Take that with which you will but yeah just know he's not a super duper walk in the park to handle but he's not horrible anywho I'm just rambling at this point because I want to finish him into robot mode before I close the video out thank y'all for watching this Thank you, Mystery Company, that sent this to me. Until next time, T-Man978, out of here. Bah. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those f***ing videos, baby. Shit.